one of the important points that I had to learn is that I wasn't the same person as I was prior to my diagnosis. Something had happened, namely a life-threatening diagnosis with bleak outcomes. And in order to get well, I had to focus all my energies on helping my body, my mind, my spirit strive toward wellness. I couldn't suddenly finish this project or that. I couldn't start something new that had a concrete deadline. I needed to focus fully on getting well. It didn't mean that I didn't communicate with family and friends. Of course I did. But rather than repeat over and over again how I was doing, how what the doctor had said, what the test results were, my husband very kindly started a Caring Bridge site on my behalf and posted delightful and upbeat but informative and very real posts with photographs on Caring Bridge. That way, friends and family could read about what was going on. They could find out what the latest was without my having to repeat over and over what was going on. And instead, if I spoke or wrote or texted or emailed, we could focus on something else that was productive and about reinforcing all the ideas and concepts of what it means to lead a life of wholeness and wellness. Boundaries are important. They're not easy. I'm not the, a person that finds boundaries at all easy. <laughs> and I much prefer to give than to receive. Well, suddenly I was in a position where I had no choice. I had to focus on receiving. I couldn't give the birthday presents and presents I usually gave to friends and family. I couldn't do the things I usually did. Instead, I had to focus on receiving and on working with my body to increase the support the immune system, increase strength and vitality, recover from surgeries, um, go through the treatments as best as I could, find solutions to some of the side effects. It takes a lot of work, or it took for me in my healing journey a lot of work. And that had to be my top priority. And because it had to be my top priority since I really wanted to live. I had to say no to, in a nice way, I hope, <laughs> to family and friends. I couldn't do this or do that. And I was very fortunate. And my good fortune, I am deeply grateful for. I'm so grateful for the whole Caring Bridge community that formed for me, that posted regularly and supported me on my healing path. That has been wonderful and continues to be. So boundaries aren't easy to create, but they are and were for me essential.